गाइज अल्लाम वरम चैप्टर 23 थ्री गाउस लॉ प्रॉब्लम नंबर 38 लेट मी रीड आउट द प्रॉब्लम इन फिगर ए एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज शॉट डायरेक्टली सो दिस इज द फिगर एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज शॉट डायरेक्टली अवे फ्रॉम ए यूनिफॉर्मली चार्ज प्लास्टिक शीट एट स्पीड वी एस इक्वल टू इंटू टेन टू द पावर फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड सो वी एस इज मान वी एस इज टू इंटू टेन टू द पावर टू इंटू टेन टू द पावर फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके The sheet is non-conducting flat and very large, so we can consider it as an infinite sheet. And remember, field due to an infinite sheet is equal to sigma by two epsilon zero. Non-conducting sheet. This is. Uh, figure B gives uh, figure B gives the electron's uh, vertical velocity component v <coughs> versus time t until the return to the launch point. What is the sheet surface charge density? Okay. so uh, what is happening here is we have a non conducting charged sheet we have an electron here you shoot this electron with some speed vs here okay so its initial velocity is vs now uh, since this is a positively charged sheet so field direction is going to be upward away from the sheet so force on the negative charge remember this is a negative charged particle negatively charged particle so force on the negatively charged particle will be downward e into e okay direction is downward magnitude will be e into e now when you shoot it upward force is downward so it was its speed will decrease because force is in the opposite direction speed will go on decreasing decreasing somewhere it will become zero and then it will return back because of the force when it returns back it is moving in the direction of force so its speed will increase okay so when it returns back to the same point okay when it returns back to the same point since we are dealing with conservative forces here and there are no dissipative forces present so in, when it returns back here it will have the same speed vs <coughs> but downward <coughs> excuse me but downward so it starts with the velocity of vs Say in positive direction, and the last point we are considering it has a velocity of v s in the negative direction. Okay, so this is the graph which shows the velocity. Uh, velocity changes linearly with time. V s is two into ten to the power five. Now, uh, from the graph, immediately we can find out acceleration. Okay, we can find out acceleration immediately from the graph. Magnitude of acceleration is a magnitude of change in velocity v f minus v i divided by time taken. Okay, divided by time taken. Final velocity is here minus v s. So magnitude of minus v s. Then this minus sign. Initial velocity is v s, which is positive. So v s. This minus sign is this one, the formula one, divided by time taken delta t. So this thing is minus twice v s. We'll only consider the magnitude. So this is twice v s divided by delta t. Let's substitute the values. So v s is two into ten to the power five. So two into ten to the power five divided by delta t is time taken from this point to this point. This is twelve, fourteen, thirty-four, fourteen, fourteen picoseconds. This is picoseconds. So I'll convert it to SI system. Fourteen into ten to the power minus twelve seconds. So now everything is in SI system. So this comes out to be. I have already worked this out. This comes out to be two point five seven eight. Two point five seven eight into ten to the power sixteen meter per second square. That is huge acceleration. Two point eight five. Two point eight five seven. Okay, I have written it wrong. What is it again? Two point eight five seven. Eight five seven into ten to the power sixteen meter per second squared. So we have the magnitude of acceleration here. Now we have to find out. What we have to find out? We have to find out charge density. What is the sheet surface charge density? Okay, sheet surface charge density. Now. Uh, Newton's second law: force is equal to mass into acceleration. 
okay now force is the electric force here which is e into e is equal to mass into acceleration electric field which is due to this uh, charged sheet infinite charged sheet is sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 okay this result must be already known to you this is not a metallic sheet this is a non-conducting sheet so sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 is equal to mass of the electron into acceleration of the electron sigma we had find out sigma is equal to m a twice epsilon 0 will go upstairs so 2 epsilon 0 divided by e will go downstairs here so let's substitute the values now we already have the values so this implies sigma sigma is equal to 2 mass of the electron 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 acceleration of the electron we just found is 2.857 2.857 2.857 into 10 to the power 16 into epsilon 0 which is 8.85 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided by e charge of the electron which is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb everything is an si system okay everything is an si system now i have already worked this out this comes out to be 2.9 into 10 to the power minus 6 so sigma is equal 2.9 into 10 to the power minus 6 everything is an si system so unit will be coulomb per meter square so this is charge density, surface charge density of this sheet, 2.9 into 10 to the power minus 6 uh, coulomb per meter square. Fine, that will do for this session.